From extreme drought to heavy snow, some researchers at Utah State University are trying to get to the bottom of our roller coaster weather patterns. Yeah, a new study shows it may be all our fault and it's not going away anytime soon here. News specialist Mike Anderson joined us live to explain why. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike and Dini, you know, as you can imagine, this is another weather a story about uh, climate change, rather. And the two professors on this study say that population growth and the things that we all do are adding to this these wild swings in the weather. And while we should work to fix it, we should also, in the meantime, work on some ways to learn to live with it. Most people don't have these kinds of resources to deal with winter. We're loving the snow this year. Doug Yonker takes the tractor out with each storm, helping his family members and neighbors. This is a big boy toy. You know, this isn't work. But the data suggests we could be in for a lot more extreme weather. That the magnitude of the hydrological cycle is increasing. Wei Zhang is an assistant professor of plant, soils, and climate at Utah State University. In the midst of our drought, he set out to try and better understand our wild swings in weather. This trend is not going to end, and this type of extreme events, it's, gonna, it's not going to end. While we are seeing a wet cycle now that very well could last several years, he says we will see extreme drought again. And after pouring over decades of data, he says the cause is us. Including of uh, everyday use of you know, cars, or use the heating system, and also another contribution is from factories. And while we all need to do our part, Zong says it's bigger than that because what's happening overseas impacts us here too. We need the international collaborations um, to cut the carbon emissions from the atmosphere, and that's very challenging. And in the meantime, we'll have to better prepare for the major droughts and more resources for the plentiful times. What we could do is to better that ourselves by, by building better in infrastructure. And Zong says uh, next piece of the study will be to look into why Utah is such a hot spot for these kind of extreme uh, uh, weather activities and uh, whether higher global temperatures are actually bringing more moisture into the atmosphere for these bigger storms. Back to you. All right, Mike, sounds like uh, more people are going to need those big boy toys that guy talked about to shovel their driveways. Thanks.